All right, let's do the same calculation, different vector valued function. Uh, this one's two dimensional. We've seen this one in the previous section, in fact. Um, this was that kind of rotated parabola. But the process, exactly the same. First step, calculate our prime. All right? So we get 2t minus 1, 2t plus 1. Then we calculate the magnitude of our prime, right? So 2t minus 1, all squared, 2t plus 1, all squared. And if you recall, we've worked through this calculation before, and the result is 8t squared plus 2, okay? Um, so in one sense, this is more complicated than the previous example because this time around, that magnitude is variable, right? Um, same idea, though. We can now calculate the unit tangent vector. So it's still 1 over the magnitude of r prime times r prime. So we just have to take both components of, of r prime divide by the magnitude, right? So we're going to have, um, oops, sorry, uh, 2t minus 1 over, and of course you can, if you want to leave this, uh, the 1 over the square root out front as a scalar multiple, you can certainly do that. But I'll, I'll bring it inside. Okay. All right, so there's our unit tangent. And just like the last one, we'll try to evaluate it at a couple of different points. If we want to do t at 0, well, we're going to get um, minus 1 over the square root of 2, and then 1 over the square root of 2. And that is indeed a, a unit vector, right? In fact, that's a unit vector corresponding to what theta is... Uh, 3 pi over 4, if you want to do the cos theta, sine theta sort of um, format. T of 1, we're going to get, let's see what we get. Still a 1 on top, but this time we're going to get uh, square root of 10, right? And then that's going to be 3 over the square root of 10. And once again, if you were to go ahead and compute the magnitude, right, uh, when you would square them 1 tenth plus 9 tenth, we do get 1, right? So checks out. It is a unit vector in both cases.